ActiveX is a legacy technology developed by Microsoft. It essentially allows applications to share information with each other. The current ActiveX API for Excel wraps the c -sharp .NET API and is provided as an open source project TWS LIB. The initial connection procedure is like other socket-based technologies such as the DDE socket bridge, the Python API or Java. In TWS, navigate to Global Configuration, API, Settings, and Ensure That. Enable ActiveX and Socket Clients is selected. By default, the ActiveX sample connects on port 7496, so let's make sure this option is selected as well. Then navigate to C, TWS API, Samples, Excel, and open the ActiveX sample spreadsheet. In the ActiveX sample, the connectivity to TWS via the API is handled in the General tab. As with other socket-based technologies, the host, port and client ID are required when establishing a connection to TWS. When using Excel and TWS on the same machine, leave the host column blank as this represents the local host. The port will be the same port TWS listens on, 7496 by default. The client ID can be any positive integer and will be used to this specific API connection. See our connectivity documentation for further details. Once you review these parameters, click Connect to TWS. If successful, there will be a green Connected button displayed. When you are done using the spreadsheet, terminate the socket connection by clicking on Disconnect from TWS. Similar to the new DDE spreadsheet, the ActiveX sample consists of a separate tab for each of the different functionalities offered with the API. The Tickers tab demonstrates how to query watch list data from TWS. After entering the parameters of the contract, click the symbol, for example, IBM in row 12. Then click on Request Market Data. The quotes for available tick types will begin to populate. When you want data to stop streaming, click the button Cancel Market Data. When creating your own custom spreadsheet using the ActiveX API, we would encourage you to review the underlying VBA code of the sample spreadsheet. Please note, IBKR is not able to provide any programming assistance. To view the underlying VBA code, press Alt F11 to open the VBA editor. Here, the underlying code for the tickers tab is displayed, showing the different subroutines this tab uses to perform requests and return data. See other forms and modules in the VBA Project Explorer on the left. We encourage you to review the corresponding documentation for each tab of interest on our GitHub guide for further information on each corresponding method. All right, for our next lesson, we'll take a look at placing limit and bracket orders using the DDE sample spreadsheet, plus where you can view the corresponding VBA code and a list of macros.